Praise be to the glory that is Marie Kondo, but I can't throw seven years of theorizing away. Okay, and when was the last time you opened that thing? 20 minutes ago. Okay, before 20 minutes ago. June 17, 2017, when I conceded that all my rent theories were wrong. Aubrey Josephine Ficara, it's over. We were wrong, let it go. Are you crying? Oh, it's the dust from cleaning. Shut up. Oh, okay. Listen, letting go is even more important than adding. Oh my. Oh. Never discard <laughs> anything without saying thank you and goodbye and to put things in. Get it. Thank you, Pretty Little Lies, for some of the wackiest theorizing I've ever done. From the brief Spaleb to Haleb ship wars to every A reveal, I can honestly say it was a moment in fangirling I will never forget. Goodbye. Well done. No, no. I got no. I got no. no. Don't take no. this away from me. Should I be relieved that it's not Mr. Beastie from my bedroom? Don't be relieved just yet. Tessa Nation, Kent Jacobs, 2477 Water Road, El Paso, Texas. So has the Roy guy figured out who Tessa Nation is? Is this real? Hang on. Hang the fuck on! Good old days where guys like tidy your whole rug just threaten to impregnate us. This is way more creepier. What are you doing? Calling Ken Jacobs. No, I don't. No spam. Ken Jacobs, is this his number? Ken Bartholomew Jacobs, did you mess with the internet again? No, I did not. <gasps> Then why is a New Zealand girl on the phone? I didn't do nothing. Then why is your phone getting messages for an account called Tessie Nan Tion? You looked at my phone? When I pay for it, it's my phone. I'm sorry, young lady. He's 13 and we're still working on screen time. Tell me what he's done and I'll fix it quick smart. And if he sends you images of nether regions, they're not his, but I'd delete them just in case. Dick pic deleted, video down. I, I didn't think Tessie Nation would be a 13-year-old kid. Mm. Like, what do two grown women do against a child? Dub on him to his mother. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Who's this Royd guy? Oh, shit. What? My boss wants to chat with me about my social media presence. Oh. Oh, am I going to be fired for being a horny accountant who talks about the significant control deficiencies she has when she's watching Henry Cavill and The Witcher? Oh, my God. Oh. You know, it doesn't matter. Tessination, the roid guy, tidy your whore rug, they don't matter. Like, all of this is a byproduct of the real problem. Jason Thomas, Standard Media, his anti-shipper video, like, he acts like it's a capital offense to thirst tweet over Chris Hemsworth's arm veins. Which is why... Haley's live idea? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Like, you don't have to do it, but I really want to try it. I... <sighs> Give me a day to think about it. <clears throat> and I'm gonna take the Roid guy's fingers instead of keyboard letters when I find out who he is. Do you reckon you can figure out who the Roid guy is from that packaging? 
I know IT guy sounds like I'm a hacker, but I'm not. I know the police aren't perfect, but it might be good to get all this stuff on record just in case things do escalate. So, the boy who disappeared, is that what you really called me? Yeah, I guess it sounded Harry Potter-ish to eight-year-olds. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, I disappeared because I was kidnapped for three days. What? Were you okay? Not really. The guy promised me a Tamagotchi and he just never oh delivered. <laughs> no, he didn't do anything to me. I just remember sitting there watching a lot of Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> Weirdly enough, the shit thing was um, the attention that I got after the police found me. And all these grown-ups were just talking to me about my trauma. Eight-year-old Ben was very confused. But luckily, 15-year-old Ben found a school counsellor that made him realise that therapy wasn't for losers and um, I could unpack the truths from all their beliefs. There's uh, still a lot of work that needs to get done, but I'm quite proud of where I'm at at the moment. Can I tell you something embarrassing? Yeah, what? So I... You cannot laugh at this, by the way. Mm -hmm. I started watching the TTT videos because I wanted to learn about what people found romantic. Uh, because I wanted to get back into the dating game and, you know, ship is like, you love love. And, you know, you love talking about love languages and all that other stuff. And, um, you know, I just kind of just wanted to learn. <laughs> oh. oh, my God, can I delete you? Uh, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm so tired of lying about who we are. I don't know who we are. Um, it's not the same, but... So, during the HSC, some guy kept harassing me. He would call and leave messages, send me, like, Really weird pictures, um, and he hacked my laptop and deleted all of my assignments. Um, and it messed with me so much that I just completely flunked all of my exams. And my parents said that I used it as an excuse to just do shit on my ATAR. <laughs> So I've been anonymous online ever since. Oh my god, I know it doesn't compare at all. Oh, no, no, no. I can Trauma is not a competition. That guy tormented you. And all of this stuff, it's gonna bring up a lot of those old feelings. I keep falling into the past. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, of your words keeps pushing me under. Oh, but I want to help Tessie. Whoa!
Aubrey. That sounds just sticking in the heads we'll roll. Our client has said that they saw you on YouTube critiquing Kate and Anthony's boinkathon session in the gazebo. <laughs> Wait, has the royal family had a sex tape scandal? No, it's... Have you not seen Bridgerton? Uh, no. When they confirm by sexual Benedict, then I'll watch. Listen, am I in trouble for talking about sex on the internet? It's worse. Your popularity has given our manager an idea. He wants to use this kind of marketing to bring in a new generation of clients, find the hottest accountants and mathematicians and make numbers sexy again. Uh, sure. That's um, certainly an idea. And he wants you to be the face of the account. Come again? We have a problem. <laughs> you bet we do. My identity has been outed. And I think it was Ben. And you act like you no. wrong. Hey guys, welcome back to my Dawson's Quick Quick. <laughs> Lol, blind watch through, and I just got one thing to say. Pacey is irrelevant. Dawson and Joey are endgame. Why is Pacey still around? Oh, and speaking of, what is that blonde mole still doing here? Just because you're blonde doesn't mean you can have whatever guy you want. Please, get out of the creek. But speaking of blondes, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to get that iconic lift in Dawson's hairstyle.